Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can have text on the screen, read or speak aloud on the iPhone 15 series. Now, there are two different methods on, you, on how you can have text uh, read aloud. Uh, we will go through all the different uh, methods uh, available. First, swipe up at the bottom to go back to the home screen. Then from the home screen, tap on settings. In settings, go back to the main settings page and we scroll down. Next, tap on accessibility. Then tap on spoken content. At the top here, you can turn on speak selection. So we can have text uh, read aloud based on the selected text that you have uh, select. Or you can have the whole screen speaking aloud. So you can turn on speak screen. So make sure both of these options are switched on. Another option is the speech controller. So you can uh, turn on the controller. So uh, tap on the show controller switch to turn it on. And this means the controller will always be available for you to use. So this is kind of like a shortcut that you that is always available on your screen. After that, you can swipe up to go back to the home screen. Now you can have text read aloud from your mail app, notes, reminders, news, uh, settings, or any apps. It doesn't matter which app it is. Uh, your device can read text from any apps that is showing text on your screen. Now I'm going to open up the Safari app because it has some text already opened in here. So to have the full screen uh, read aloud, you can swipe down at the top with two fingers like this. Wikipedia, search, galaxy, article, talk. Now you can see here, uh, it will start to read from the top down. Uh, while reading, you can use the volume key. So you can press on the volume up or volume down key to increase the volume sound. A galaxy is a system of stars. To pause the speech, you can open up the controller and then tap on the pause button. That will pause the speech. Uh, you can resume the speech by tapping on the play button. And that will um, continue with your uh, text uh, speech. Now, sometimes uh, if you swipe down at the top, it will uh, stop the, the reading. Or if you swipe up, it will stop the readings. In this case, uh, it doesn't work. Uh, if it doesn't work, you can simply just use the controller to uh, pause your, uh, your speech. Now, in this uh, controller, you can also change the speaking rate. So you can change it to one time, uh, one and a half, or uh, two times uh, the speaking rate. Or you can slow it down with uh, uh, half x, or half the speaking rate. Or you can go back to a normal uh, one x. There is also the next button and the previous button. So tapping on the next button, we'll go to the next section. So you can see here, we go to the next section, the next sentence, or the next paragraph, depending on how your uh, text is structured. On the left hand side, there is also a touch button. So this is the touch to speak. So if you select that, you can have your text read based on where you touch on the text. So if I touch on this part here, most of the mass, so tap on that. Then it will start to read text from that part of the paragraph. So that is the touch to speak. And when you using that option, you can see here, make sure it is turned on. So uh, the speed controller uh, needs to be turned on to have the controller appear on the screen. And uh, there is also the speak selection. That is the other option. So here you can select the text on your device. So here I'm going to select this paragraph. And once you have selected the paragraph, a pop-up menu will appear. On this menu, you can tap on the right arrow to go to the next uh, option. So if you swipe across, you can see there is a speak button. When you see a speak button, just tap on it and it will start to read out the text right here. A galaxy is a system of stars, stellar remnants, interstellar gas, Dust and dark matter bound together by gravity. Again, if you need to post it, you can open the, the controller and post it. Okay, so with the select text you speak, you can post it by simply uh, swiping down at the top there, or you can swipe up 
So here I can have it speak again. So I can swipe up or down to have the uh, speak uh, post. With the full full screen switch, you will need to use the controller to post it. And in the controller, you can use the touch to speak to touch on the part of the text to start uh, speaking. So those are the two different options that you could use. Um, let's go back to the controller in settings. So in settings, if you go into the spoken content and go down to speech controller, in here, you can choose to turn it on or off. You can see if I switch it off, and if I use the, Show controller off. you can see if I use the full screen switch, when that is on, Okay, so it's not working correctly now. Off. Okay, so when you uh, successfully uh, turn on the uh, the speech uh, controller, you can pause it. So when you when we use the uh, speak screen, so when we use the full speak screen, uh, it will uh, activate the controller, and with this controller, you can tap on the close button that will close uh, the controller but the speech controller is still off. You can have this controller to always uh, appear on the screen. And once it is turned on, when it has been turned on, you can uh, set the long press controller actions. So at the moment, when you long press on it, it will read all content. And when you double tap, it will speak on touch. And finally, on the last option is the idle opacity. You can change uh, the buttons or the controller visibility by dragging it to the left, you will make it more uh, less visible. And if you drag it to the right, you will make it more visible. Now let's see how you can use this uh, controller button. So if you long press on this button, this article is about the it will start to read text from the beginning of the screen all the way down. Or you can double tap on this button and that will allow you to uh, touch on the part of the text where you want to read aloud. So two different off. shortcuts that you could use, touch to speak, or you can long press to read text from the, the beginning of the screen structure. down to the end. So those are the two uh, different options. Now, if you are using the Safari uh, web page, so in, in uh, Safari, if you open a web page, there is another, another option. You can tap on the read the text here on this uh, icon, tapping on the icon will uh, show us the menu. From the menu, you can tap on listen to page. So tap on listen to page. And galaxy. this article is about the astronomical structure for Earth's galaxy. And you can see that uh, with this, you can have text read aloud from the, uh, from the web page. This is a different uh, features uh, to the, the one in the accessibility menu. And here you can change the speaking rate, uh, the speed. You can go to the next section. Okay, so it's playing audio uh, music instead of uh, reading text from uh, from my web page. So I'm just gonna pause that. Um, maybe there's some bug right there. So just gonna increase the volume again. As you can see, it could be some bug there. Uh, okay, so start reading again. See galaxy disambiguation. So I can pause listening. I can uh, tap on the play button to resume. A galaxy is a you can pause. You can go star. One, two. The word is galaxies. Average. You can tap on the next button or the previous button to go to the next uh, part of the text. You can also tap on end listening to stop it from reading aloud. Now this feature is only in, available in Safari app. If you are using your other apps, such as Notes, uh, that option is not available, then you need to use uh, the features from the accessibility. So here you can have it read aloud. This galaxy, see Milky Way. Okay, so still reading text from uh, Safari, so we might want to try again from here. This is a test. 
So once you uh, swipe down at the top, it will start to read the screen from the Notes app. This is a test. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos.